Okay, now let's use our scan tool to actually diagnose various types of problems. We'll let it communicate in this case with the engine control module and we get a typical diagnostic screen like we've seen with many scan tools, tools over the course of our career. But if I wanted to go ahead and diagnose a problem, say like a misfire type of complaint, I can go through and select read data stream. Now remember, in the data stream, depending on the car line that you're working on, you might have misfire counters available to you in the data stream itself. However, if it doesn't, we've got all these other PIDs. We've got a total of 326 PIDs available to us. I can select the PIDs that I'm after. Now, if I'm trying to diagnose a misfire type of complaint, and let's say in the actual diagnostic pathway here, I don't have misfire counters, and I'm not in mode six mode on the generic side, I would wanna select the PIDs that relate to giving me diagnostic information pertaining to engine misfires. So those PIDs are going to be your fuel trim. Also, you're gonna to wanna to look at your, your crankshaft or RPM sensor inputs. You're also gonna to wanna to look at your oxygen sensor or air fuel ratio sensor, whatever the model year the vehicle happens to be, whatever the vehicle supports, both pre and post cat. The reason why you wanna do that is if you think about what involves a misfire, when the crankshaft slows down, that's the triggering of the misfire counters. So that's why we're looking at RPM. Lots of things could cause that to slow down, but if we think about the act of a misfire itself, that means we opened up a valve, we squirted some fuel and air present inside there, and it did not ignite. So it did not change through the act of combustion. So when a misfire occurs, we have an abundance of oxygen present once that, once that exhaust valve opens up. Those are gonna be our clues, those PIDs that we talked about, primarily fuel trim, short and long-term, more so long-term on misfires, as well as your primarily post-cat related oxygen sensor signal. If I see extra O2 content, that's going to confirm that I have a misfire present. Once we confirm we have a misfire present, if I see that extra O2 content at the, at the post-CAD O2 sensor, that's gonna be my indication that it's an ignition misfire. If I see my fuel trim and my pre-CAD O2 sensor showing that, that's gonna be more indicating that it's a fuel-related cause for the misfire that's present on there. 